All right, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> We're back in the kitchen here, nobody's kitchen. Uh, for this recipe, you're gonna need about a half of a pack of bacon. I haven't opened this one yet. Um, you're gonna need a pound of sausage, some apples, a sweet potato, some french fried onions, frying pan. I'm gonna save you the, uh, the painful effort of me uh, peeling and slicing this uh, stuff. So, uh, yeah, fast forward real quick. All right, now because magic and the internet, I have a bowl of sweet potatoes that are cut and a bowl of apples that are cut. <clears throat> uh, they don't have to be perfect, but for uh, consistency's sake, it's good to at least try to get them somewhat close to the same color. Now, I want you to take into consideration, okay, this is a breakfast casserole that I'm making. This stuff goes in later, but you could also substitute uh, the apple with pear with green apple, uh, you know, any sort of a, a hard tree fruit like this. And with the sweet potato, you could substitute butternut squash, you could use regular potatoes. This is entirely open for interpretation here, okay? It's just uh, what I happen to have today in my kitchen. So here's about a half of a pound of bacon that I have cut down. Um, some grocery stores you can actually go and you can buy what they call ends and pieces of bacon which is a lot less work otherwise slice up half a package of bacon give or take and then as you can see I've got Italian sausage this stuff was on sale two for six with a dollar off coupon uh, so yeah that was a dollar for a pound of sausage okay and I got some good old dumpster french fried onions didn't cost me a dime so you wonder what you might wonder why I have a baking dish we're going to start this in the frying pan and we're going to finish it in the oven because although it's not here on the counter, cheese is eventually going to find itself on top of this and it's going to go in the oven for a final little bake to make sure that the potatoes and the apples are fully cooked. So this would be a sweet, savory breakfast casserole that you can make on a Sunday and you can eat off of all week. I happen to be making it on a Thursday. Uh, so, you know, maybe Sunday night some of you guys will make this and you'll eat it all week. All right, step one, sausage and bacon in the pan. We're gonna brown us some pig, because I like some pig. All right, I'm trying a new camera angle here today. My kitchen is extremely small. If you uh, have ever watched any of the uh, tiny house living, a lot of those places have a larger kitchen than I do. Um, I've had closets bigger than this kitchen before, but you know what, it does the job. And I like the amount of money that I pay for my rent. So, I make do. I did have to buy this stove when I moved in here. Uh, so this is actually my stove, even though I'm a renter. Anyway, you want to start breaking this stuff down. You want to get it good and brown and good and crispy. So, this is where this part, everybody knows how to brown some sausage and how to cook some bacon. Uh, sometimes you gotta, you got to make sure that the the bacon gets separated when you cut it because it really kind of sticks together a little bit. I haven't found a remedy on how to get bacon to not stick together when you do it in this context. If anybody has, by all means, drop a comment below. But anyhow, get all that yummy goodness going in there. Mmm, bacon. All right. While I'm waiting on this stuff to brown, there's one more thing that I uh, forgot to mention. You want to do this on a medium heat. Because uh, if you go too high, the bacon will burn before it's uh, it's properly crispy. And we don't want our bacon to burn. However, I do want my sausage to have a nice crust on the outside of it. I like a nice little little crunchy layer on the outside of the sausage. So this process takes a while, 20, 25 minutes. But you got to be patient. You can't rush the pig. Okay. It's either slow and low or fast and hot. There's nothing in between. And uh, as far as cooking is concerned, in my opinion. Uh, I stole that line from Guy Fieri, but I don't, uh, I couldn't agree with him more. It, uh, you know, you don't want to, if you can't cook it super fast, you got to cook it low. Be patient with it. Something else you have to understand, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've cooked before, you get it. Certain things that certain people don't understand about bacon. Just because you turn it on medium and it doesn't sizzle immediately, be patient. The pan will eventually reach that temperature. Okay, you got to be patient with bacon, otherwise you end up burning yourself, you risk burning your house down, 
Okay? Bacon will hurt you if you're not careful with it. You end up with grease marks all up and down your arms. Okay? But medium at best, maybe a little bit below medium, and just be patient. Work with it. Patience is a virtue, as my father used to say. Alright, so we are getting close <clears throat> to the point where we had the sweet potatoes and the apples. It's something you have to understand here. You want to make damn sure before you add the sweet potatoes and the apples that all the bacon in there is as crunchy as you want it to be. Some people like their bacon kind of soft. Okay? Some people like their bacon crunchy. I kind of like mine in the middle. You know, where the white's still sort of kind of pliable, but it's got a crunch to it. Um, because once you add this to that, the bacon's not going to ever get any crunchier because you're now adding a a liquid source to your pan that isn't fat. Because at this point, the bacon and the sausage are still cooking in their fat. They're they're frying. Okay, but then once you you overcrowd this pan with sweet potato and apple, the liquid that's in there. I mean, the sweet potato isn't going to have it's going to have some effect on the liquid, but it's going to act mostly like a sponge to soak up the grease, and then the apple is going to hit it with moisture. And at that point, the bacon isn't going to cook anymore. Okay, so you got to make sure before you add that stuff in that you're willing to eat everything over here. It's cooked to your standards, and to which we are getting real, real close, real close on my end of things. You'll see I got the oven on. It's multitasking. I'm actually baking a sweet potato in the oven for the wife for lunch tomorrow. Um, while we're doing this, because I had to turn the oven on to do this anyway, once this gets done. Whoa! No bacon shall be left behind. No bacon shall be left behind. Close. Close, close, close. Alright, so at this point here, I got everything in that pan about as crunchy as I need it to be. I'm going to add sweet potatoes first, because like I said, sweet potatoes act like a sponge. And I'm going to stir this around until everything is evenly mixed, and those sweet potatoes are going to soak up all that bacon and all that sausage grease. And you want to you want to scrape the bottom, scrape the bottom for all those little crunchy bits, because all those little crunchy bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's where all the flavor's at. That's all the nice, crunchy, crispy, fatty, just... Mm, best part about the pig is the fat, right? Alright, so once you've got that mixed in pretty thoroughly... Uh, I mean, at this point, you could actually... I don't eat eggs, so I'm not adding eggs to this dish. But it's at this point that you could probably add like a half a dozen eggs into this pan. Uh, that have been whipped up to be scrambled and while you're stirring all this around okay, you can be scrambling the eggs in and amongst all of that I'm just not doing that today because I'm going to eat this and ah no bacon left behind and I don't eat eggs I think they stink I don't know how anybody eats them they're alright when they're like in bread and shit but I, I just don't anyway add the apples and again Stir, 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 stir. Now this is where going back into the oven happens. Alright. And I'm actually going to hit this. Trust me on this. Because I use this on everything. The McCormick's Real Mates Roasted Garlic and Herb. Oftentimes this is in the uh, Montreal chicken section at your store. Um, for whatever reason. That's the slot that it ends up being in. But I'm going to add a just a fair little coat, really evenly, over the top of that. I swear by that stuff. And mix it up again real good. Okay. And this is where the starts in the frying pan ends in the oven portion of this goes. And then it gets cheap into the casserole dish. Oven's preheated at 350 degrees. Alright, you're going to throw this in the pan. All that yummy breakfast goodness. No bacon left behind. Get in there. 
turn it around a little bit, pack it down, 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 pack it down. All right, French fried onions. One of my favorite things on the planet. You can also omit this step if this is not, if you're not into French fried onions or if onions don't agree with your stomach or whatever it may be. You don't have to do this. You don't have to. And I'm going to put some cheese on top of that because I know the British people like to make fun of us Americans for putting cheese on everything, but uh, fuck you, cheese is good. We like cheese. And we're just going to put a little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. Well, wow, there's a, a clump of shredded cheese that didn't get shredded. That's a snack for the chef. Hmm. I love cheese. All right, so again, this would be something you can do on a Sunday night. And uh, you spend a little bit of time, and then you can just cut a section out of it, and you've got pre-made breakfast for the whole week. Anyway, 350 degree oven. We're going to put it in there for about 30 minutes. Check back with you then. All right, folks. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. This is when you put on your trusty-duty Ross pot holders. You pull that bad boy out of the oven. put it on a plate. Alright, there it is. My lighting sucks. But yeah, nice soft sweet potatoes. Apple still got a little bit of crunch to them. Hmm. Give it a shot. Peace.